Greetings to all of you. My dear brothers and sisters and my dear friends, this is your pastor, Yeti. Know you, the God of your father. This is our meditation for in a few seconds. But let us pray first. God of heaven and earth, we praise you. We worship you and adore you. You are amazing God, God of wonders. God so close to our heart. Thank you, Father, that you have interest in our life. And you never get bored about us. That's amazing. There's so much we have to learn, Father. And I think that's fine. You want to keep us so close to your heart because you see always ahead of us. And always see how we move our feet. Bring us by your Holy Spirit to the awareness how we walk our journey. And give us a humble heart, Lord. That we, with our personal life, don't fool around, but know that we belong to you. And always start from that. I pray that your Holy Spirit refresh our heart and open our mind, ears and eyes that we, the further we go on, coming to the understanding who you really are. And thank you, Father, that you don't give up on us, that your love is always there, even in times while we just walk and think we're fine. And maybe that's so. But we need you We need you in every part of our life and our soul thirsts for you, beloved Father. Father, make our heart a heart of flesh and blood more and more with everything that blocks us will be melting for your touch. And make us that our personal life also will be touched for the people we meet in our life. We ask that through Christ our Lord. Amen. And you, Solomon, my son, know you, the God of your father, and serve him 
with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searched all hearts and understand all the imaginations of the thoughts. If you seek Him, He will be found. But if you forsake Him, He will cast you off forever. First Chronicles chapter 28 verse 9 I only have one hope in life to be used of God. Has the poor little donkey rebuked the madness of the prophet and as the rooster's crowd aroused an apostle and brought him to repentance. I pray that God may be willing to use such an unworthy instrument as I. The more highly we think of ourselves and our abilities and our talents, the less God can use us. Today we have education and technology and talents, and the thought is that all of these things have to be used by God. I am so glad that that is not the case. If that were the case, someone like me would have no use in the Master's hand. But oh, thank God, that is not the case. I gladly get in line with the donkey and the rooster as God used them. The beautiful thing about the donkey and the rooster, they had no idea how God was using them. One of the great delights in heaven, in my opinion, will be learning for the first time exactly how God used us and that He did, in fact, use us. Use me today, O Divine Savior. Cleanse and renew this servant of You. Lord, with your Spirit fill me, I pray. And then in your service, use me today. I pray, O God, that you might humble me and bring me back to earth that I understand that I am just an instrument in your hands. Use me as you see fit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Beautiful people, you are living in the same world as I do. And maybe one day, in this lifetime, We will meet. I don't know. But you never know. But it's amazing that how God really works in us. And isn't that not true that sometimes we just come in all for God? without words, just having such a deep experience in a moment. That change our life, that we come more to the awareness where we exactly are. 
And let me say this. I always hope that your life is in God's hands. That He is the only one in your life and that you walk with Him every day because He is worthy to be praised and loved. He is our treasure for life. And from Him, our life is a life. To reach out to others and touch them with the love of Christ. My dear ones, God loves you. God loves you. May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May you find peace within. My dear ones, this is your Pastor Yeti. Bye. I love you guys.